I haven't seen my kid in 11 weeks. And it was hard enough that she knocked her off the bed. Yeah, this matter is before the court for the purpose of reviewing an ex parte order entered by this court suspending complaints of mother's parenting time. That ex parte order was entered on June 17, 2024, kind of an alleged assault of the 14 year old child by the plaintiff mother. Uh, this hearing is being conducted via Zoom. Present is attorney Leah Rooker representing defendant father Joshua McDonald. Mr. McDonald is present, and plaintiff mother Blythe Herman is also present. Court notes that actually when we were last year was July 2nd. The ex parte order was continued, but mother was granted a, a phone contact with minor child on Sundays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And I was adjourned to today's date to determine the status of a CPS investigation. The parties have conferred this morning with the assistance of Mr. Pratt. The recommendation of Mr. Pratt is as follows. That mother shall have phone calls with minor child Elizabeth on Wednesdays, Fridays, and Sundays at 7 p.m. It's noted that the child is attending counseling and the party shall follow all reasonable recommendations of that counselor. The minor child shall continue in counseling. It's further recommended that father be permitted to take the child to Florida from August 14th to August 18th. And the parties will appear back for its court to review parenting time September 4th at 9.30 a.m. That is a recommendation, Ms. Worker. Is this recommendation agreeable with your client this morning? It is, Your Honor. Ms. Sherman, do you understand the recommendation? I do. Okay, the court wants nothing more than to, to reestablish a relationship with you and your daughter. No question, teenagers can be challenging. Um, do you understand the, do you have any objection to the court adopting this recommendation? I would like more um, availability uh, as far as maybe uh, what the mediator had um, asked if we could do dinners. I actually reached out to Josh and invited him and his girlfriend um, to a lunch date. Uh, with Elizabeth. Um, I'm trying um, my absolute hardest to co-parent from a distance, and I I haven't seen my kid in 11 weeks. Um, okay. I'm That's heartbroken. Not, 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 it's not an unreasonable request, Ms. Rourke. What about a daughter having dinner with mom? Dad could drop her off. Hey, mom can, uh, whether it's, she could suggest a restaurant that maybe that Elizabeth likes. Dad could drop her off uh, for a one-hour meal with her mom in a public place? Any objection to uh, that prospect? Yes, Your Honor. At, at this point, there is. Uh, my client, Elizabeth, has started counseling. Um, the She's only been able to have one session so far, um, but she is just establishing a relationship with the counselor. This was a traumatic event. Um, there's, there's no uh, dispute as to whether or not mom um, by Elizabeth's account, it was hard enough that she knocked her off the bed. Um, Elizabeth is 14, almost 15 years old. Um, she reported to dad that she liked the counselor and is you know, eager to continue seeing her. Um, but following uh, this event in May, um, Ms. Herman attempted to essentially Elizabeth uh, into, you know, all of the reasons why it happened and trying to minimize it. Um, this was traumatic for Elizabeth, and we think that she would benefit from some additional counseling and the support of her counselor in having conversations with mom to address this rift in their relationship. And we think that Elizabeth needs that support in order to be able to do that in a healthy way. Um, there, obviously, there's a power differential here between a parent and a child. Um, and so, court, and court understands all that, Ms. Rourke. Court understands that. And obviously, 14 year olds can be challenging. I've raised teenagers. Um, certainly, Your the Honor. Question is, would if if, if uh, Mr. McDonald, if Elizabeth uh, went went mom wanted to meet her for dinner, would Elizabeth refuse to attend? Yeah, right now, yes. All right. Well, we don't want to force things, Ms. Herman. If, in fact, Elizabeth, uh, you know, we don't want to force things. You should, do you know who the counselor is, Ms. Herman? Um, yes. Talk I've with the actually, counselor. Okay. Talk with the counselor just so you get insight in terms of what you can do in terms of reestablishing relationship with your daughter. And again, we sometimes you need to, and I don't want to put this off. That's where we're getting a review date. I don't, I, I, the court wants to develop and reestablish and repair this relationship. We've got to do so in a, in a deliberate, careful fashion. And hopefully, when we come back, uh, that at least we can maybe have some meals. I mean, uh, talk with the counselor. If, if she thinks that Elizabeth, you know, now saying what Mr. McDonald said, if she thinks that the Elizabeth would be willing to meet you at a restaurant in public for a dinner, um, then there's no reason why we can't talk about that when we come back. But if in fact, Dad saying Elizabeth wouldn't do that, we don't want to force things and, and create any further problems. 
What do you think I've, Elizabeth would uh, would 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 go? To I've asked her. I've asked her a few times, and she tells me no every time. So I don't I don't want to push the issue on her. If that makes sense. Right. So the, the court's not going to force it at this time, Ms. Herman. Mr. McDonald, obviously encourage it. I mean, you need to. The best thing you do for your daughter is to tell her that her mom, she got one mom in this world, her mom loves her, and that they just need to work out some of their differences. That's all. And encourage that. You have to keep an open mind. Right. Anything further than this morning, Ms. Herman? No, Your Honor. Okay. Um, okay. We'll review this on September 4th at 9 30. It's only a month away, and hopefully we can have uh, some uh, more, um, personal contact at that time. But do communicate with the counselor. Yes, Your Honor. All right. Anything further, Ms. Worka? No, Your Honor. Thank you. All right, go adopt the recommendation and we'll review this matter on uh, uh, September 4th, 9.30 via Zoom. All right, that will conclude this hearing. Everyone can Zoom out. Have a good rest of the day.